Hello, welcome to the Action Brick, and welcome to part 5 of my LEGO Clash Royale mock series. Today for you guys, I have 9 new models. The Bandit, the Mega Knight, the Skeleton Barrel, the Flying Machine, the Zappies, the Hunter, the Royal Ghost, the Magic Archer, and the recently added Barbarian Barrel. So, without further ado, let's go jump right into this mock. First up, we have the Bandit. Now, right off the bat, you can see that I have used a dark brown torch piece from the old Indiana Jones sets, for her club, and if we turn her around, you can also see that she has a dark green cape from the 2010 Harry Potter Quidditch set. In the front, you can see that she has some custom painting, of course. Here we have the Magic Archer. Now, one of the things you might notice is that he has sort of an elvish hairpiece that is painted light gray with little streaks of light blue to give it sort of a magical look. Uh, on the back, we have a solid red cape that uh, it looks pretty good and the front uh, he has a torso of the green knight from collectible minifigures series 15 and finally here is the magic archer in his fighting position one final thing I'd like to mention is that the Magic Archer's bow was made using a trans red shooter piece I sort of melted it curved it and then trimmed it down to make a bow uh, by the way kids do not try this at home up next we have these zappies. Now these zappies have a fairly simple design, which is why I was able to make three of them. Uh, and each one actually only contains 15 pieces, so if you would like a tutorial on how to make the zappies, be sure to request it down in the comments below. Alright guys, up next we have the Royal Ghost. Now surprisingly this is actually one of the easier ones to make, uh, simply because there wasn't any trimming involved, uh, no painting involved, uh, no building involved. Just kidding guys, here is the Royal Ghost in his solid form. Now one of the things you'll notice is that his headpiece is actually that of the Clash Royale Kings, except there's obviously white hair. His beard is that of Sensei Wu's. Uh, if we turn around, you can see that his cape is trimmed so that it looks more rectangular and also has a golden trim. And in the front, you can see that we have a sort of ghostly blue sword, which I thought gave the minifigure a nice look. Now, despite the Hunter being one of the most underused cards in the game currently, I think he turned out absolutely gorgeous as this minifigure. And the crazy thing is that he is 100% custom painted, no printing at all. One of the cool things about his headpiece, or his coonskin cap, is that it's actually made using a classic LEGO policeman's hat. So basically what I did was I took that hat, I took some clay and put it around the creases on the side so that it would look more roundish, and then I added the clay raccoon tail to the back and then I painted it accordingly with the cyan colored paint and of course the black and gray and what would the hunter be without his double barrel shotgun it doesn't look too great but I tried my best guys I tried my best up next we have the barbarian barrel now if we take a 360 look at this you can see that it is basically uh, mostly brick build we have brick built legs with a barrel as the torso and on top of that all we have of course, the minifigure head of a barbarian. And if we take the actual regular normal barbarian minifigure and put it right next to it, you see that they are exactly the same height, which I thought was pretty neat. It makes it more believable that this is an actual barbarian in a barrel. But the real question is, can this roll? Up next we have the skeleton barrel. Now one of the fun things about making this one was the skeleton icon on the side right here. Uh, I was considering using a decal, but that would be interesting, so I just did my best to make an actual brick built design. Uh, around here you can see that we have sort of some metallic ends to the barrel to make it look more armored. Nothing really on the back. On the top we have three red balloons that are at an angle thanks to some hinged pieces. But yeah, it's pretty simple. It can't fit any skeletons inside the barrel unfortunately, but there is the barrel. Up next we have what is basically a flying musketeer, but its official name is of course the flying machine. Now this only has two features, one being its can that can be adjusted to uh, target air or ground units, and two being the propeller which you can rotate simply by flicking it. Finally we have the Mega Knight. Now this beast has seven points of articulation in the head, the wrists, the arms, and the feet, which allows you to put him into several battle positions. Turning him around we can see the rest of his body armor as well as his blue belt. Here's a size comparison between the Mega Knight, a giant, and a minifigure. 
Well, that concludes this mock presentation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I try to read every single one of the comments that you guys leave. Also, if you have any interest in seeing my other Clash Royale mocks, there will be a link in the description to a playlist where you can see all of my creations for Clash Royale. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and stay cool.